I'm just getting ready for the day, so I'm having... Cheers to that. Starting off by popping in my Celotica lenses. These are my favorite shades. Hands down, they're called Castagna Brown. I want to say I have moments of loving lenses, and then I stop using them for a while, and then I get back in love with them. It's just like... Wait. <laughs> these are hands down the best hazel shade and these last for three months so you can use them every single day for three months these are super natural but at the same time they're really good at covering my dark brown eyes so my discount code down at 10 will give you guys some discounts on Celotica's website literally whatever you buy on there you can use my discount code and i will make sure to link this exact shade down below my skin is clean and i have spf on and then i move on to my primer this product is from laneige it's called a glowy makeup serum and oh my god my makeup looks incredible with this one under like Living in Dubai have really humbled me with makeup guys and when I tell you I have for a long time tried to figure out the best products that are long lasting that will last me in this really extremely hot country I can definitely definitely tell you that my makeup routine today is the best NARS recently came out with this new foundation called the Light Reflecting Foundation and I immediately grabbed it I love it. The only thing I will say is the shades of this foundation are a little off. Usually I'm a Syracuse, but in this specific one I had to pick up a Valencia. I do feel like it oxidizes quite a lot and goes a lot darker. Then I go in with my beauty blender and I just tap the product into my skin. I'm going in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and here comes a beauty hack that I have been doing This is probably my biggest secret to my makeup looking so good and my eyes just looking very lifted recently So what I do is I take my concealer I will apply it like this under here and what I do with the rest of the product is I will create a straight line under my eyes I am creating a line under my eye that just like follows my natural lash line but we're leaving a little little part under the lash line that kind of will act like a darker liner under our eye so again i'm just adding in like that coming closer and closer to my eye but like leaving a little space there right there i'm just following and then like that now what I will do is I'm taking my beauty blender and I won't go close to my eye. I'm only blending down towards my cheek. So that part we're leaving exactly like that because it's going to act as a liner. This is creating the illusion of a cat's eye but with the concealer. So can you see what that did? I hope you guys understand me now. Like it's literally the biggest beauty hack that I have found and it's something I just naturally started doing and it worked for me and now I just can't stop and live without it. So I didn't go with my beauty blender close to my eye. I'm literally just leaving that little gap and I'm just blending down. For bronzer, I'm using a cream stick and this one is from, I think a Swedish brand called Beauty Act. It's sold at Kix in Sweden and I'm in love with these sticks. I have them in the blush and the highlighter and the bronzer and hands down, being a girl who used to love the Fenty matchsticks, this is better. I hope you guys can get your hands on it if you're not in Sweden because it's literally the creamiest. Like, just look at that. Immediately, wow. So I'm just applying a little bit like that and then I do a little line there above my concealer line. So I'm just giving myself a little bit of a lift with my bronzer. And then with the same beauty blender, I'm just pushing the product into place. I'm not moving it around too much. We want it to stay exactly where we put it. So I'm just pushing it into place. I used to do these videos much more often back in the days with like a chatty vibe, like a chatty get ready with me. And the reason to why I haven't done it and been consistent with it is because recently I found that it's so difficult to chat about things in my life and also do my makeup at the same time. Um, especially when I actually want to talk about the routine that I have, like the product, how I am applying the product. And like, I feel like that's a whole topic itself. So I just have a hard time mixing those two. 
So I just decided I'm gonna do this video dedicated to makeup and then we can do more chatty videos in the future. For blush, I am using the Charlotte Tilbury's Glowgasm in the color Pinkgasm. This product is also one of my go-tos and favorites. It always just provides me with a beautiful glow blush look. I think I have three ones of this just for backup because last time what happened was it got sold out and I couldn't get my hands on it and I was panicking because it is the best blush ever. With the same beauty blender, I'm going on the side now and we're just pushing it into the cheek. Not moving it around too much, only pushing it. So to set my face, I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Now, as we created that beautiful concealer line under the eye, we're just gonna try to put the powder exactly where I applied my concealer. I take some product and I push it into my entire nose. And with the Honey Shade, I am going to take some product and push this one right under my cheeks. This one is perfect for the rest of my face because it's not as brightening as the translucent one. So it's just perfect to kind of clean up and matte down the skin a little bit. Like that. Okay, now it's time for brows. And I think brows are so boring to do. Even though I love me a good brow, it's beautiful. I think it's the probably most boring part of a makeup routine. So I don't know if you guys think the same, but hopefully not because now I'm gonna explain a little shortly what I do with my brows. I have quite uneven brows. So what I do is a brow lift every six to eight weeks. And the brow lift definitely helps me to be able to maintain my brows as I like. So for example, if this one is more straight, the other one is more arched. I am able to kind of even them out because of that brow lift. So it really helps. Now I have a brow lift from five, no six weeks ago and it's definitely wearing out, but it's still helping my brows to kind of stay. So I'm just brushing this part up. In the middle of the brow, I am brushing down and then at the tail, I'm brushing up again because I've recently been loving me a straight brow look. I don't love the arch. I don't feel like it goes for my face. So I just go up, down, and then up. And then to fill it in, I take the brow pen and I just create some small strokes at the front because I like me a closer brow. So we do that and then that. And then for the rest of the brow, I just add in a little color because I want the dark brow look. So now with the Benefits brow gel, I am just kind of setting them in place because they tend to fall down throughout the day. I'm just pushing the powder into where I applied it. So I'm not moving it around doing this crazy stuff. I'm just pushing. Push, push, push. I thought I could tell you guys a little story time of one thing that happened to me a while ago, but I never addressed it ever with you guys because when it happened, I was firstly very, very scared. And also when I told my friends here in Dubai, they told me that I actually couldn't post about it because in Dubai, you don't have freedom of speech. But now it's been a while and I also decided I'm not gonna put the Instagram handle for me to be more safe. I can tell the story. Basically what happened was in March, I think it was, I was invited to a clinic here in Dubai to kind of do a facial massage, kind of acting like a professional way of doing the gua sha method. So she was just gonna go over my face for an hour and just kind of sculpt it. She was very clear in her DM that this service was an exchange for stories coverage. So me posting them, tagging them, telling you guys my experience. So we decided I was gonna go to the clinic at 7 p.m. And when I end up coming there, she is not ready. It seems like she's still with either a customer or she's, you know, busy doing something else. So I end up waiting in the reception for 15 minutes when I ask the girl in the reception where she is. Bear in mind, guys, whenever it is these kind of collaborations or them inviting you, they're usually always in time because they want you to get the best experience so that you can give them good exposure. Very unusual to me that she was late and she didn't even come out to tell me, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be a little late, nothing. So I end up telling the girl in the reception, she's like, you have to message her manager. I'm like, Sorry, there is no manager involved in this. I was personally invited by the lady who owns 
the clinic and she was like okay then i can't do much now been a total of one hour when i'm still sitting there waiting it's now 8 p.m and i decided that i've had enough so i walk up to the lady in the reception again and i'm like i am going to be leaving now because it's been one hour and she's still not here and she's like wait 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 i'll go and talk to her like did it have to go one hour for you to lift your ass and go to speak to the lady that invited me like can you guys hear what's happening here? It's so weird already. I'm quickly, quickly, quickly gonna explain to you guys again what I'm doing with my makeup here. So I'm taking this dark brown shade. I'm gonna make sure to list the exact shade down below for you guys. But this is very important for me to show you guys because I've been getting questions on my eye look recently. And I just feel like if I don't show you guys this, then like what's the point of everything? So I'm taking this dark shade and what I'm gonna do is cut my crease. I'm gonna apply it like a little above. So I'm just applying it kind of like a cut crease, like that. Doing the same here. And then I'm dragging it out a little bit and then connecting it back and blending. It's helping to lift the eye and just make me look super glam and pretty immediately. So it's kind of acting like an eyeliner but it's not an eyeliner. Back to the story time. So she ends up lifting her ass and going into the beauty room and telling the lady that I've been waiting for an hour, clearly, and that uh, I had enough and I'm gonna leave. So then she comes out. She decides that she's done now. She comes out there, doesn't even apologize she's late, doesn't even greet me, nothing. She just says, come in. Okay. So when I stepped into the beauty room, I noticed a man with a professional camera, whole setup of lights and cameras from different angles. Seems like there is some kind of filming involved in whatever we're gonna do. So I end up sitting down and asking her about the whole camera situation and she's like, yeah, we're gonna be doing a commercial video. And I'm like, yeah, but you that's not what we agreed on at all. And she goes, you're so pretty, we have to film this. Firstly, I agree with it, which me being me, I'm just so bad at saying no to things. I've always just been a people pleaser. I'm really scared to stand up for myself in most situations, especially if it's something like this where I've never experienced something similar. So I didn't know what to do, I was a little scared. So I was like, okay, let's do it. And then I decide halfway that no, this is not right. Like at least I should be told and also paid. So I end up saying like, hey, this is how we agreed on. Like we actually said that I'm gonna be posting it on story and that's it. She's like, so you don't wanna do this. It seems like she's getting really irritated and she's speaking to the cameraman and telling him that she doesn't wanna do this. I'm just putting my eyeliner now. I'm using a brown benefit liner and I'm doing a little inner corner liner and then I'm just gonna drag a baby liner on this side. So the guy ends up packing his stuff and leaving the room and the lady goes lie down like really with an angry and upset voice like you can just tell in her energy and the way she's behaving that she's not happy with the fact that you know she's planned this entire thing she's brought a cameraman she had like literally everything set up that's probably why it took her one hour to come out and diana doesn't want to do it and then she's gonna start doing the treatment i'm gonna put my makeup down just so you guys can see she starts putting her fingers on my face. The second it touches my face, she's like, posted them. Sorry, there's been so many red flags. What am I still doing here? I just go and I look up and I'm like, sorry? She repeats what she said and she also added, if you don't want to do the commercial video, you have to post every single moment of this. Another detail I forgot to tell you guys, when the cameraman was still in the room, I kind of asked her a couple questions. So one of them was, so the whole massage was supposed to be one hour in total. And I asked her, I'm like, so how long is this going to take the whole commercial thing? Because I'm still trying to decide if this is worth for me doing. And she's like, yeah, we're going to be filming for 45 minutes and then you can have five minutes massage. <laughs> so you're asking me to film your commercial video for 45 minutes to then get a five minute massage. <laughs> no. That's not how it works. You invited me to come here and post it on my story. You lied to me. Like, I basically explained to her that this is so wrong. You're doing me dirty, bitch. You're doing me dirty, bitch. 
I end up just basically packing my shit together and leaving. And then at the reception, like as I'm leaving the clinic, I start crying like <laughs> super loud as well. Like I'm like, <laughs> with all the rights, honestly, guys, like who does that? I am so scared. So I end up like running away. I grab a taxi. I call Philip in the taxi and I cry. And I cry, guys. Now, I wanted to initially come on Instagram and tell you guys the story and tag the place, but you know, not in a good way. So I end up telling my friends who's also living in Dubai what happened, and she was like, don't do it. Like, by law, you can actually not expose companies like that. Or actually, like, I think she wasn't sure of what was right, and even myself, like, I'm not sure because I've only lived in Dubai for almost a year so i don't want to risk it and get in trouble but it was just a very nasty experience and i felt very used and you know i felt disgusting i felt disgusting to be someone that was so easily fooled obviously i wasn't fooled or anything but like the fact that she looked on my page and she thought that's the one you know that just kind of makes me so upset I'm gonna be lining my lips and I have been loving the Huda Beauty lip contour in the shade Terracotta. It's not necessarily the shade that I love. <laughs> it's not the shade that I love because I feel like it's a little too pink and too light for me. I prefer a more brown, dark shade. You guys know by now. But I feel like they don't have a shade that's perfect for me. So what I do is I use this as a primer because this is so long lasting. Like, I will literally put it on and it will be there for eight hours of me eating and drinking and literally doing everything I need to do. So I apply this and then I go on top of it with another shade. But this is just going to act like my primer. It's so good. Like, honestly, honestly speaking. It's so good. So we're just doing a little outline on the cupid's bow, but then on the sides of my lips, I actually do an inline. So I do it inside my lip. But to go on top, I have this liner, which I can't even see which shade it is from MAC. I will make sure to find out which one it is and put it down below. It's kind of like a darker burgundy shade, actually. I've been loving. I'm for lashes from a brand called swede again i think this is a swedish brand but hopefully you guys can find it online i'm gonna do my best and link them down below but this is the brand it's called swede lashes and so i love these which are literally just like an outer corner lash in the shade brown very important so i'm just gonna add it on the outer half to add a little something to be honest, whenever I have a lash lift, I don't put on any lashes. I feel like it's more than enough. I feel like the way I apply my concealer in combination with the lenses, it's giving chef's kiss. Like my eyes look so bright and so lifted. I am in love. If you guys know where I can buy Kylie Cosmetics in Dubai, let me know. Like immediately, wow. And I think the last step I do here is I take a brown liner and I'm gonna add a beauty mark here and one there. Literally does nothing, but just in my head, I feel like I look like Marilyn Monroe. One last look for the lenses as well. This is it in natural daylight. And I'm gonna move it for you guys to be able to see. That is my natural eye color. So literally, it just kind of blocks out that darkness and lifts it and makes me look so beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got inspired. Maybe you got one tip from it. Maybe you decide to completely recreate it. That's totally up to you. Also, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube already, please make sure you do that. It would make my heart so warm. I love you guys to the moon and back and I will see you very, very soon.